Well, new tonight, people in southwest Beaverton in a neighborhood there fed up saying they've been dealing with a zombie condo taken over by squatters two years ago after the owner passed away. And the Washington County Sheriff's Office tells us during those two years, it's been so bad, deputies have responded to that address nearly 200 times, all because of reported illegal activity. It seems unbelievable. Jenny Young spoke with a man who lives in the neighborhood. They say a bank now owns the property, Jenny? Jeff, Liz, they say this now all lies in the hands of the bank. They say the property is in probate and the bank has not moved to foreclose. This is according to the neighbor. And now this neighborhood has nowhere to turn since law enforcement has no authority to move these people out. It's not a comfortable place to live because, you know, we just have unknown traffic at all hours of the night. Alex Devere has lived in this condo complex going on five years. It's in a quaint area in southwest Beaverton, near a middle school and a few parks. But for the last two years, he and fellow condo owners have had to call authorities on squatters a whopping 175 times. There's known drug activity and you know, at times there was prostitution happening in the unit. Alex says when the man who owned this condo passed away two years ago, that's when other people started making themselves at home. To my understanding, he had a a girlfriend or a partner and uh, she's been gone for well over a year, if not longer. He tells us three or four people are usually staying here, but it's never the same folks for long. Yeah, it's hard to tell. I mean, there's three or four constant that are usually in there, but I mean, any given day, there's another three or four that just kind of wander in and out. There's people that come all hours of the night. There's been multiple people picked up for warrants. Uh, there's a search warrant just recently served on the unit, which had to involve the SWAT team. The Washington County Sheriff's Office tells us the address is a hot spot for drugs and theft. We've made arrests off warrants there. We've made arrests off other charges, such as, like I said, found in stolen property. There's all sorts of arrests that are being made there, um, but there's current activity. The the people who are living there are constantly changing. We knocked on the door, hoping to ask folks inside some questions, but no one answered. Alex and his neighbors are also concerned about the piles of junk in the backyard. They have just tires in the back, and if one of those were to catch fire, that would just go up in a second. Obviously, you can see that's an adjoining unit, so if it catches fire, it's very easily that the next one catches fire, too. Alex said during the summer, a pile of debris that was next to that house caught fire. Neighbors had to act quickly. They grabbed a garden hose and put that out. The fire department did um, eventually did have to come out. But, you know, Jeff, Liz, something else that they're concerned about. Homeowners, the Homeowners Association says they are about $6,000 worth of dues that have not been paid in those two years. And, you know, people just fed up with this. At this point, the county can't do anything about it. Law enforcement. It's all in the hands of that bank, according to Alex, and we've reached out to that bank. We were not able to get in touch with him, but we're going to keep trying. Uh, we'll let you know if we do get some answers. Reporting live tonight, Jenny Young, Coin 6 News.